today's adventure, kids. I think you're going to like this one. I don't have very good light in here. I'll get it on the bench in a few minutes and take it apart and get into it. I've been uh, humidifying this. That's what this stuff is. Been, uh, it's, this guitar was really, really, really dry. Anyways, I got some other moisturizers in, in the case. And it's a Martin. You can't even see that in here. I'll get it on the bench and get some light here and show it to you. It's a D15 Martin. It's a sweet guitar. Man, it is really nice. Hold on. I'll uh, shed some light on this subject. There you have it. Martin. Yes, sir. This is a sweet guitar. I'll let you look inside of it if I can. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a D15 Martin. Not sure of the year of it. I need to look that up. Uh, I'm going to put the camera in the tripod here or somewhere. And uh, let's see what this thing needs. The frets look uh, good on it. They're not even wore. Or they don't look to be. I'm going to examine them closer. I already uh, did this, but I'll show it to you. I'll always take a piece of paper and check for... That's a shadow you're seeing there. Take a piece of paper and check for uh, the bridge being pulled up. This one's not. It's not pulled up at all, which is good. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of saddle left, as you can see there. The saddle is really, it's, uh, it's sanded down quite a lot, and the action is very high. Here's the 12th fret. So we got to get that action down. I'm going to take a straight edge, like you've seen me do before, lay it on the, the fretboard and come back here and make sure this bridge is uh, level and square and straight with the fretboard. And then determine, you know, what we need to do with this neck and this saddle to get the action down and make it playable. And it's going to get these, because that's all I have right now. Well, I use them. They're good strings. They'll work fine on this guitar. Perfect. So, let me uh, get free of this camera. and The power may go off. We're having a hell of a storm here right now. It's just the winds are gusting up to 60 miles an hour, they're saying. Uh, so, the power may go off. This may get held over until tomorrow. I've already had it too long. I need to... Uh, I wanted to get it humidified. I've done that and it's ready to work on, but... Anyways, uh, the power may go off, and I may have to wait until tomorrow to finish this, but I'm going to get started on it right now. Well, i got to get my big fat gut in there. Sorry about that, folks. It just can't be avoided. <laughs> I got the strings off of it. The neck had a horrendous forward bow in it with the string tension on it. When I took the strings off, it was still there. So I wanted to check that truss rod and make sure it works, because if it don't, if it didn't, well, wouldn't it be any use to go any farther? So I checked it, and it did. It works. Uh, it's got just a little bit of a backward bow in it now. So that that should straighten out or pull some relief into the neck when we put string tension back on it. I'm a little concerned about this saddle being shaved down that low. Uh, I wonder if there's any shims underneath that thing. No, no shims. So I'm a little concerned right now about that saddle being cut down that low. You can tell the sound of a plastic saddle. That's plastic for sure. It's good and tight, but I don't know if we'll be able to use that or not. Um, put a straight edge on here while the neck was straight when I was when I was tightening the truss rod and I got it straight and flat and I ran a straight edge back here to make sure this bridge wasn't you know make sure it lined up with the fretboard and sadly it does not 
exactly. Man, it just, you know, it's so close. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be a problem with the, you know, it had a horrible uh, forward, uh, a lot of relief, lots of relief, man, way too much. So I think with it, the proper relief, I think maybe we can use this saddle just where it is. But like I say, I don't know. It's probably going to be taking the strings back off of it and uh, maybe shaving the saddle more or put another saddle in it. I don't know yet. But first thing I want to do is clean up this fretboard. The frets look pretty good. Let me get the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's somewhere, but not enough to... If the camera will pick this up, I think it is, there is a slight bit of fret wear on the first, second, third frets. Maybe a tiny bit on the fourth. And a tiny bit on the fifth, but it's... Uh, that You could play that guitar every day for a year before it would need a fret dressing, I think. So I'm not going to do anything to the frets. They look pretty good. I would rate them about 95% good. Hold on. I do want to polish these frets up a little bit. The fret, the fingerboard is clean, man. It's, this guitar hasn't been played very much. I don't know how old it is. I need to look at that up. I'd like to know. But it's the, there's no, uh, there's no DNA on it. Just very, very dry. Very, very dry. Look at that. It's, it's hardly even got dust on it. But, put a little linseed on it. That open green wood like that needs some kind of protection. I'm going to let that set for just a minute wipe it off better than that. I'm just trying to smear it into the grain right now. This is an expensive guitar is what it is. If you look them up, Martin D15, there's a D15 and a D15 something and I forget what it is. And I forget the difference. I think maybe the other one is, it's got a different top on it. It's sunburst maybe or spruce or something. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is mahogany. The whole entire guitar, I believe, is mahogany. I'm anxious to hear what it will sound like set up properly. New strings. And, and we may very well get into shaving that bridge and saddle. I don't know so much about the saddle, but the bridge, there's a, there's a good chance I might have to Take a little bit off of that bridge. And I have been attacked and raped and bombarded for doing that to another guitar. But hey, if you can avoid a neck reset, you know, do it, man. I have a Martin. I shaved the bridge off. You Maybe you've seen the video. It's called How to Avoid a Neck Reset. <laughs> Got all kinds of shit from that from a dude about that, but he deleted all these comments and went away, thankfully. <laughs> Anyways, may have to do this one. I don't know yet. I'm going to uh, I think I'm gonna polish it up a little bit first and then put new strings on it and start checking things. I, if I can't get that relief right, I mean when I get the relief right, if it doesn't, if it's still too high. I can't take very much more off of that saddle because it's, man, it is down there right now. So anyway, I'm going to put new strings on it and I'll let you see what's happening after that when we go from there. Hang on. Always, always, always want to put the same pins back in the same holes. Always do that because they wear differently different gauge strings cause that pin to wear differently so it's just a good habit to get into 
I wanted to remind you guys of that because it's easy, easily overlooked. Still fighting a sinus problem that I seemingly can't get rid of. Okay, I've been asked this before. I'm going to show you again. Putting on new strings. I pull the string up. This is the fourth string, so I pull it up to the end of the guitar. The fifth string, I'll pull up to the fourth string peg and bend it. Put it in to the bend and start winding. Let me just show you. Bend it at the end of the guitar. Stick it through the hole. And wind that puppy. I've got an electric winder, but it's dead. And I'm afraid the power is going to go off. It's uh, Man, it's really windy tonight here. Rain, big time. Big time rain. So for like uh, the, the fifth string, I'm going to pull it up to the fourth string peg and bend it right there. Okay? Stick it through the hole, up to the bend, and wind. And again, Dave, I thank you for this, baby. It's a, uh, it's a good technique, one that works. So anyways, I wanted to mention the pins going back in the, the same holes every time, all the time throughout the life of the guitar. should always do that. And I've been asked about this. How I put new strings on, how I get the proper winding. Well, I learned off of Dave, and it's a, it's a great way to do it. You have just enough winding. You don't have to worry about it slipping or coming off or loose. In fact, you never have any more trouble with it. Three to go. So I'll be back in a few. Got the strings on it. And just tighten them up and I'll look down the neck and the back, a little bit of backward bow that I had in it is gone. It's actually very flat right now. Very straight. The neck is, I'll put a, a, a straight edge on it and it's perfect right now. However, I know now why the, the saddle is ground down to almost nothing. I could still use that saddle, but here's the good part. Either I'm going to have to shave this bridge like I did on another Martin guitar on another video. Either do that by shaving the bridge that'll give me more room to shave the saddle if I need to. And I do need to because I'll show you in a minute the action is very high. Very high. I can't take any more off the saddle. Not nearly enough to correct that problem. I'll show it to you in a second. The only other option is you guessed it a neck reset. And I don't even know. I'll have to look up and see I don't know if this has a dovetail joint or not. Uh, I got to get a hold of the owner. Like I said, this belongs to a YouTube user. Got to get a hold of him and uh, see what he wants to do. I'll do a neck reset if that's what he wants. Or I'll shave the saddle if that's what he wants. Whichever way he wants to go, it'd be a lot cheaper shaving that saddle. And I did it to my guitar and I haven't had to do a neck reset yet. And hopefully, probably never will. Same case here, you know, I can take it off of the bridge back here and correct the problem uh, possibly forever, you know, it may never need a neck reset. And it's no big deal if you ever do, you just replace the bridge with a new one, do the neck reset, and you're right back to, you know, the way it was. But, uh, man, my sinuses are fucked up. Anyways, uh, let me get the camera and I'll bring it over here and show you what I'm talking about this is kind of tough to do with one hand so but I've got the neck straight the neck is perfectly straight okay put a straight edge on the neck I'm coming back here that 
straight edge should slide right over top of the bridge and right back to the saddle. They should be parallel. You can see what a little tiny bit it is but it's not right you know if it's going to leave here it's got to leave here right and that's that won't do we can't work with that so close hold on so that's all i can do right now until i hear from the owner i'm going to get a hold of him as soon as possible and uh, see what he wants to do about that i'll see what he wants to do either a neck reset or shape the bridge down the way I did one of mine and several guitars over the years and uh, this might be a part two video or I may uh, continue on with this one I just don't know it depends on how long it takes him to get back with me I guess so, but anyways stay tuned because this guitar is still on the uh, operating table it's going to be there for a while either way um, it's going to be a sweet guitar, I think, when you get it fixed. It's going to be a cool little guitar. I mean, it's I can just tell it's going to have some sound. So stay tuned for that. Like I say, it may be another separate video, a part two, or it might be, you know, I may just add it to this one. I don't know yet, but uh, either way, you, you'll want to hear that guitar when it's done and see the action on it. I forgot to show you that. So anyway, thanks to the subscribers, every one of you guys and gals, I appreciate you all, and uh, like I say, watch for the little Martin D15, you're going to see it again. Cheers. Here's what I'm talking about with the action at the 12th fret, it's still, see it's way too high really. I haven't even measured it because it's just too high, it's got to come down. Lordy, lordy, it's got to well, come down. Folks, a great sadness has rained down on us. Nothing unusual there, right? Uh, talk to the owner of the guitar. He does uh, want me to shave the bridge, so that's what we're going to do with it. But we're not going to do it today. It's been a long week, and I'm going to uh, tell you why just in a second. Are you dizzy enough yet? The video you just watched was actually made last week. Um, had some uh, major problems happen with my computer it completely died completely just uh, blew up so I had to go buy a new computer I got the biggest baddest one I could find and I'm uh, put, putting all my software on it installing stuff I've been doing this for days trying to get it uh, back to where I can make videos again this is the first one made on the new computer but uh, that's the hold up so uh, as soon as I can uh, get everything together and get the, everything on there working again I'm going to finish on this guitar it's, I'm going to start back on the guitar probably tomorrow or the day after a couple of days after you see this so anyways I apologize for the uh, distortion <laughs> if you want to call it that it's just been real hectic trying to swap all these hard drives and memory and computer shit you know how it goes but I'm gaining on it I almost got it um, I'm almost ready to start using it again I'm hoping this video will turn out okay because I'm having to use some software that I don't like until I get Sony Vegas back on and some other programs I use but anyways just want to let you know what was going on uh, we are like I said going to shape the bridge on uh, that Martin I talked to the owner that's what he wants to do so and it's a lot cheaper that way too and it's just you know no more than it is he may never ever have to do a neck reset on it you know and even if he does have to you can always buy a new bridge and put back in place of the one the shade one if you have to you could set the neck to match the the bridge that I'm going to shave <laughs> but anyways uh, that's where we are now uh, I'm going to get back to working on this new computer and, and this thing is fast baby I'm digging it it's got a it's a quad core i5 I, I wanted the 7 but they didn't have it and I needed a computer quick you know so it took what they had anyways cheers uh, look for the finish on the Martin the finishing the repair on the Martin guitar coming up next probably within a few days or a week maybe I don't know the way things have been going it's hard to say but cheers to y'all see ya
in a few days. Guitars, computer shit, all over the place.